Hi everyone, it's Miss Jill. I hope that each of you is having a great summer. I can't tell you how much that I miss each of you. It was so fun a few weeks ago when I got to see some of you on that Zoom call, and I hope that we start getting to see each other in person sometime soon. Uh, so today I actually just wanted to share with you a little bit uh, about a devotional that the boys and I read a few weeks ago, and it's something that I've really been thinking about, and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. So it's from this book. It's called The Radical Book for Kids, and I wanted to read it to you because I think it just was a good reminder. I know it was a reminder for me and my boys, so maybe it is for you. The sun sits at the center of our solar system, 92,960,000 miles from Earth. That's really far away. When you try to comprehend such an enormous number, it's difficult to grasp the sheer vastness of the space between our planet Earth and the sun. Imagine placing a basketball at one end of the court. That represents the sun. Then place a little bitty sesame seed or even a little bitty popcorn kernel. So super, super small here. And if you place that at the other end of the court, that's about how far it is from the sun to the earth. The sun stands incredibly far away, yet it gives enough light that it holds the planets in orbit. It's also gigantic. If you could fill a huge bucket with everything in our solar system, the sun alone would take up 99% of the bucket because it's so big. Okay, so here's, the, here's kind of where I wanted you to really focus. So what's at the center of your life? So if you can see here, it has this picture where it has me right here, and then it has all these things around it. So at the center of your life, is it sports, books, games, technology, how you look, uh, your friends, your achievements, your family, or even you. What would be the problem with trying to put something good like sports or school at the center of your life? The issue is that whatever you put there, no matter how good or worthwhile, is not designed to fit that central space. It's too small. There's not enough mass or weight. For example, if you look at your friends to be the main thing in your life, at some point they will fail you. God gave you all the good things in your life, but not for them to stand at the center. Do you know who should be at the center? What do you guys think? Oh, you're right. It's God. The Bible says that only God himself is substantial enough to stand at the center of your life. When he is at the center, all the planets are held in their proper place. So I wanted to show you the second picture here. Oops, sorry, Miss Jill's not too good with this. Okay, if you look over here, <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong one. So sorry, guys. If you look here, God is at the center. So when God's at the center, you can still enjoy sports, clothes, technology, friends, but they're not all haphazard. If you looked in this first picture, they're all kind of out of orbit and they're running amok and they're kind of going crazy. But here with God at the center, then we have things in their proper place because we are grounded in Christ. And we understand that our foundation and our mass, the weight is focused around him. So all those other things, we can still enjoy and do enjoy them. It's awesome to have friends. It's awesome to play sports. It's great to read. All those things are, God, are good. But when God is at the center of everything, then that means we are glorifying him. So when you, when you run, you're glorifying him. Whenever you try hard at school and you're trying hard to pass that science class, you're glorifying him. And when you have friends, you're glorifying him. Here's one way to live with God at the center of your universe. When you enjoy something, give thanks to God for it. By thanking him, you are acknowledging him as the source of what you enjoy. God is the one who made sports, strong legs, good food. I love good food. Exciting stories, great friends. Don't enjoy the warmth that comes from the sun and forget about the sun himself. And that's just a play on words, meaning the warmth from the sun, but we also can think of the sun as Jesus because he's God's son. Feel the warmth every day and give thanks. So that's just kind of something to keep your mind on. 
you know, as the summer, if you're having fun, I don't, I don't know about you, we're not swimming in the pool too much, but maybe you're playing outside, or maybe you're hanging out with a few friends, or maybe you were able to go on a trip with your family, or maybe you're just hanging out at home, but you're making, you're cooking meals. Whatever it is, give thanks to God for those things and keep him at the center. So let's pray. God, we just ask that you would help each boy and girl to put you as the center of their life. God, we thank you that for what you did on the cross and that you have more power than we can ever comprehend and that you are a good, good God. Help us to remember and give thanks to you. Amen. I hope each of you has a good week. I miss all of your faces and I wish I could give you a big hug.